The time was summer 2019. I binged a bunch of Code Bullet videos and it inspired me to create my own AI. I had no idea what I was doing at the time, and I was just trying to see if I could even do it. But it ended up working out. I made a video about it and well, somehow, a year and a half after I posted the video, it blew up for over a million views. So to throw it back, we are going to be teaching an AI to drive, specifically a Formula One car to drive. We're going to be starting out the project using Unreal Engine's vehicle template. The vehicle already comes with a movement component and honestly, it drives really nicely. The vehicle template also comes with a pre-made track, which is really nice because I'm way too lazy to create my own track. Now the first thing we'll need to do is set up a way to see if a car has gone off track. This will help us remove any vehicles that aren't progressing the way we want. The way I'm going to be doing this is by setting up invisible walls which will remove any cars on overlap. This is such a tedious thing to do, but unfortunately it's necessary. Is there a better way of doing this? Probably, but I've already started so we won't think about that anymore. Alright, that took way longer than I thought, but we finally got all the walls set up. We can now use a built-in function to check if our car is overlapping with any of the walls. Alright, it's looking good so far. Now I did say we'd be teaching a Formula 1 car, so we can just grab this model from Sketchfab, rig it up in Blender, and boom. Now it's time for the fun part. I would have loved to reuse my neural network that I made from the stack video, but it's been almost three years and I've lost all of the project files. So, we'll be doing it from scratch. Again. Our neural network will take in five inputs. Each will be a raycast in a different direction stemming from the vehicle. These raycasts will turn a distance to the wall found in that direction. We'll also have two outputs. One will control the speed, the other will control the turning. The activation function we'll be using is TANH since the inputs of controlling the speed and turning range from negative 1 to 1. In order to help our AI learn, we'll be using a genetic algorithm. The algorithm will try to determine which AI has progressed the furthest along the track. As of right now, we've got cars moving based on their individual neural networks, but some of them are a little clueless, and they're kind of just staying put. So we need a way to remove the ones that aren't really doing anything. So my idea is that we'll have a kill box follow the path of the track, and it'll remove any cars that aren't making any progress. During the simulation, I'll make this kill box invisible. Now in order to rank our AI, we can check which cars have traveled the most amount of distance based on the track's spline points. This combined with our kill box should give us a good indication of which cars have actually progressed the most. I tweaked the track's appearance just a bit to make it look more interesting, but I think it's finally time to let our AI roam free. Alright, so we're already off to a bad start since I forgot to press record, but we'll roll with the punches. Generation 1 went as expected, there wasn't really any car that had any idea of what to do, but it looks like Generation 2 has a bit of Explorer. I'm going to be fast forwarding through some parts just so I can show you guys some of the most important parts of the learning, but it looks like our Trailblazer has figured out the right turn. Generation 3 is obviously performing pretty similarly to the best car from last generation, but we've got one car that is trying to work things out. The hope for Generation 4 is that at least one car won't be as indecisive and will try to complete that right turn. And it looks like we've got a couple moving forward, but it looks like they're finally encountering their first left turn. And since every turn up to this point has been right, they're probably going to struggle here for a little bit. In Generation 7, it looks like we've got a car that is starting to realize that there might be more track to explore. So hopefully we'll get some more curious fellows in the next batch. And it looks like we've got one that is hitting that left turn like an absolute pro. It's approaching each turn pretty nicely, but it looks like it wasn't expecting this right turn towards the end. I thought it would take a lot longer to get to this point of the track, but this is honestly really impressive progress. It looks like we're going to have some more reach that right turn, but unfortunately they're going to be as indecisive as their predecessor.
Now it looked like this generation was going to follow the same path as generation 9, but all it takes is one of them to break past that mold, and shockingly, one did. Now here's the run of this AI up close and personal. It's been a while since I've worked with neural networks and machine learning, but I'm glad this AI ended up working out, otherwise this video probably wouldn't be posted. If I let this AI run for longer, I'm certain it would find ways of improving and getting even faster. But my computer sounded like it was going to war, so I didn't want to let it run for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. The next video will be an update to the Trouble in Terrorstown remake, so I'm looking forward to that. Peace.